Brian Fox is a Massachusetts-based sports artist who's parlayed his talents to working for some of the biggest names in the sports world, including recently being commissioned to produce artwork for the upcoming NHL Winter Classic in Boston. I grew up interested in sports. I was a kid, I always played around, so it was fun to, I mean, I played everything. And the season changed, the sport changed. And I was always into art and drawing and things like that. And as I got older, uh, they kind of merged together. I guess when I first started doing the sports art, for my reasons, I, I just did it because I wanted to do it. See if I could paint them. And it started off with the Patriots. They weren't even playing that well. Chris Slade was the, the all-pro linebacker. And I'm like, hey, he's down at the, the restaurant doing a radio show. And I want to get a chance to meet him. And I'm going to have him sign a painting I want to do. And that's how it really started. I'm like, I wonder what would happen. So I did his painting, and he signed it. And he's like, hey, who did this? I'm like, well, I did. And, well, do one for me, he said. So I said, all right, sure. And that's kind of how it started. I did it on the side. When I brought in a painting to be signed by the Patriots, Ty Law was on the team, Henry Thomas was on the team, Teddy Bruschi was on the team at the time, Willie McGinnis. So I did this massive painting that I just brought in after practice one day, and they all came around, hey, I want to do one for me. So I was like, hey, maybe there's interest in this. So it kind of started for the love of my doing it for myself. When I got really was able to take off was with Kurt Schilling when they won the 2004. World Series. It was prior to that I contacted them about doing something for charity. And I said, hey, look, let me do a painting of Kurt. He could sign it. We could auction it off at one of your charity events. You could make some money. I don't have any money to give you. I'm a starving artist, so how about this? Working with the athletes and doing the charity work has been, has been great. It's been, um, it's been a nice way of giving back. And, it's a, and there's a lot of different charities. Even with Major League Baseball and the All-Star Game, there's the charity aspect is involved in it. And what's nice about that is you can give back. You can you know, I'm blessed to be able to paint for a living. I mean, come on. I mean, so it's, how do you give back? You kind of hook up with these guys who can do a lot of good with it. The more you are around the sports industry, the more you realize it's a smaller industry, meaning the same people are around, especially with the art. You have different artists that are coming around, different companies that represent those artists. So when I'd walk around with a painting and have these athletes at a signing sign it for me, these other companies go, hey, hey, what are you doing with those paintings? Can, can we buy them? Or, hey, would you like to do some work for us? And it was a slow process. And eventually, one of those companies brought me or offered me to go to the All-Star Game. They asked me to do one painting at first. And I said, look, let me do two paintings, massive paintings, and one for each league. And then the guys will sign it, and we'll work from there. And they asked me to paint live on the field during the Home Run Derby. And they also asked me to paint up in the stands. They had a spot for me during the game. And having that recognition was great. You know, there was a lot of media interest because of just that's around the All-Star Game. I've been fortunate enough to do Major League Baseball three years in a row the All-Star Game. On top of that, when the players come and they say, hey look, we want Brian to come back, Major League Baseball wants you to come back. And then they say, hey look, we'd like a painting, the players. Uh, Ichiro Suzuki was one of the guys, Manny Ramirez was another one. Then I, I hooked up with a, a, a guy I know who was a manager. You know, he says, let me do some managing for you, and I got some big connections, and he said, Tops is one of the guys I've been talking to. So it was really through my manager's uh, connection there, or his relationship with Tops, that got me that deal. They basically had me do um, draw on a card, the, same, the actual baseball card. There was a blank baseball card they sent me. They said, look, draw, pick out of all these players, 100 players, pick whatever you want and draw on these cards. And I took a pencil and drew out a sketch on each card. So it's technically an original on each card. Again, through my manager, had a meeting with these guys. He said, look, I represent Brian, who's had a, a good run with Major League Baseball. Here's what he's done. So they were very interested in doing something special. Because it's coming into Boston, they wanted to look for a local artist to do something with Boston. So they said, sure, we'd like to use Brian. And we developed the project through uh, sketches and different things like that. The NHL had their hand in what, what it would look like. And from there, they also licensed me. And I, I get up every morning kind of going, I can't believe I do this for a living. But it's, 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 it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a, it, it is. I, I just kind of have to go, wow, man, I, I can't. It's hard work because I work. I don't think I've worked harder ever. 12 hour days, I'll work till two in the morning, I'll get up at 6.30 with the kids, and you kind of go back and forth and you gotta do everything, but I don't mind it, you know, it's, it's, it's great. It's, it's, I have a lot of fun with it. 